In Galilee, long ago, in a town called Nazareth, lived a girl named Mary. Mary was compassionate with both people and animals. She was also bright and generous. As a child, Mary was educated in the temple, and each day after finishing her chores, she would distribute food and clothing to people who needed it. Mary and Joseph became engaged to be married. We are going to join Mary now, who is alone in her room, towards the end of the day. Do not be afraid. I am the angel Gabriel, God's messenger. God has sent me here to tell you that God has a very important job for you. God wishes for you to bear a son. So how can this be possible? The angel Gabriel explained that this is an important job, one that will be both joyful and difficult. Mary, only your consent is needed before God will make such a miracle to be possible. Through God, all things are possible. Then I give my consent. When Joseph was told, he worried about Mary. He worried about marrying Mary. <laughs> Joseph was not sure what was the right thing to do. That night, an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Do not be afraid to, to marry Mary. She is pregnant through the grace of the Holy Spirit. It will be a son, and you must name him Jesus. Jesus will be the salvation of the world. Mary and Joseph were married in the temple. When Mary was almost ready to give birth to her baby, the Emperor Augustus announced a census. In order for all people in the kingdom to be counted, everyone must return to the home of their ancestors. Since Joseph was a descendant of David, Mary and Joseph traveled to the city of David called Bethlehem. But you are welcome to stay in my stable. No, no. So we can to here with Mary and Joseph. Mary and Joseph sell into the stable. settled into the stable where Mary delivered Jesus. In the fields, there were shepherds watching over their flock at night. It was quiet and dark until a bright light shone all around the shepherds. They saw an angel in the light and they were terrified. Do not be afraid. I have good news for everyone in the whole world. The angel told the shepherds the wonderful news that this night, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace, the Savior, the Messiah, was born. The angel told the shepherds that the baby was born in Bethlehem. And suddenly the sky was filled with angels praising God and singing... The shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem to visit this baby. So they quickly went to find Mary, Joseph, and the child lying in the manger. They thanked God for sending Jesus.
After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, a new star shone in the sky. Wise men and women from the east began a long journey to Jerusalem, following the new star. These wise men and women were called Magi. They have studied the skies extensively. The Magi were excited to follow the new star and were asking, where is the child who has been born the new king of the Jews? For we observed his star and its rising and have come to pay him homage. The Magi followed the star to the stable where Mary, Joseph, and Jesus lived. They were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down to worship him. Then they offered him gifts. And now go. For the step. For the first Offer the new King Frankincense, a beautiful scent that reminds us of the Holy Spirit all around us. We offer you the healing salve of myrrh because we know you will heal humanity. Peace. 